Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Couch Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about a game that I've played on the channel before called Game Dev Tycoon. This game is really fun. I recently played through it again, uh, three times. Because it has a lot of replay value. Now if you don't know what this game is, uh, you're basically a game developer starting in approximately 1985. It's more like 1983, before the Nintendo comes out. And you design games, and you can design whatever you want, you can design, it's, it's really simple, right? You design whatever you want, you decide whether it's more technology or design focused, you decide, is this a military RPG game? Is it a military action game? Is it a sci-fi strategy game? You know, that kind of stuff. Is it a superhero sci Is it a superhero simulation casual game? Is it an MMO? Are you, am I going to build my own console? Am I going to host my own convention, you know? And it's really cool. One of the coolest aspects of this game is it rewards you for knowing how the gaming industry works and knowing how game history is. So let me explain. The first time I played this game, I was playing it and the Nintendo came out, right? They called it the TES. So I know, as a gamer, that the Nintendo action games, adventure games, and RPG games do well on the Nintendo, and I know that it's a younger audience, so I do better. If I design games for the PlayStation or the iPad, I kind of suck at it. Until I unlocked all the hints, then I'm really good at it. So, it's things like that that are really cool. It's a spa like, space game, right? Space simulation works well. Space strategy works well. Space action kind of works well. Space casual doesn't work well. Space RPG kind of works well, you know? Space adventure game kind of works well, you know? Like, sometimes a game works with everything. A virtual pet action game kind of doesn't work well. Or, uh... A superhero casual simulation game. Recipe for disaster. An abstract strategy game. Stuff like that. Uh, an RPG game is not going to be technologically advanced, but it is going to have a badass story. Right? Versus um, an adventure game or an action game or a simulation game. The Sims is going to be technologically advanced because the AI is going to be, you know, things like that. That defines Game Dev Tycoon, and it's a nice business simulator, right? Because there's times where the business is about to go underwater, and you have one decision to make, and if you make the wrong decision, you're screwed. And you can always bounce back. Like, I've had the games where I've scored the best, there was at least one point where I almost went bankrupt. Because I tried some ridiculous thing, and it didn't work. You know, so... It, it's really cool, as not only as a gaming history game, because I appreciate gaming history a lot, and the gaming history behind Game Dev Tycoon is amazing, where you, know, you build for the Nintendo, and you watch your company grow as you build successful games. Sometimes games suck, you know, they get ratings, and they have bugs. You gotta research technology, you make engines. But also as a business simulation game, where it's like, you still have that second chance. If you set yourself up to have a second chance, then you are rewarded with a second chance if you mess up. You know, there was this thing where I took a risk by building a console. But I knew how to make a successful console in the game. Hint, hint, you throw a bunch of money at it. And I did that, and what do you know? I made a bunch of money back. You know, like, it's really cool. And it also helps you understand why games kind of suck sometimes nowadays because the game lets you release buggy games. That is something you can do. To make money is release buggy games and you can run an evil corporation like kind of kind of where like everyone's tired all the time you know and and you make things to make top dollar type deal it's a thing you could do and so it's kind of a really cool thing about it is it is it encaptures the game development space insanely well. And they keep updating it too. They added the switch into it. They added some they added pictures to the genres so that you understood better what kind of genre you were getting yourself into. 
There's also references. Like, I made a sci-fi action game and named it Halo. And the thing was like, oh, you found a secret game. You know? Like, it's like, oh, okay. Action military game named Call of Duty. Or a... I don't even know what Link is. It's an adventure, adventure fantasy game. Named Zelda. The Legend of Zelda. You know? So... Uh, it's really cool. I would highly suggest if you appreciate history, gaming history, business simulator, all of the above, get this game. It's really fun. I really love it. It's one of my favorite games on the computer that I've ever purchased. It's one of one of the games where I'm like, if I ever designed a game related to business, I would definitely study what makes this game good. So... That's all I really have to say. It's a short video, but uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, tell me in the comments below. Do you play Game Dev Tycoon? What's your experience with it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. I'll see you next episode, vlog, stream, TikTok, Instagram post, all of the above, or whatever I said to make.